We only live on one planet, planet Earth. We need to understand this planet and what actually dictates the behavior of our planet is what happens inside rocks and minerals down to the nanometer scale. The man that licks a rock with a hammer in its hand. So this is usually what people think about geoscientists or earth scientists, but actually it's much more. Yes, we go with a hammer into the field, but we also come back into the lab, study these rocks with microscopes to make a contribution to society. And this is where digitization is very important. I look at rocks and minerals at all scales, and I try to understand how the Earth works for very fundamental questions, such as volcanic eruptions or earthquakes, but also for societal relevant questions, such as the storage of energy in the subsurface or the storage of carbon dioxide to mitigate climate change, or the extraction of critical metals for the energy transition. If you ask me, my passion started when I first saw a rock inside an electron microscope and I saw atoms of minerals and I was fascinated that these tiny things control such a big system as the Earth or actually the entire universe. If you ask my mother, she said that I would crawl into every hole I could find, drag out rocks and muck and look at it. Microscopes come into play very early in our work. We start with a rock, we make a section out of this rock, we take it to an optical microscope, we take the rest of the rock, we bring it into an X-ray microscope, we scan it in three dimensions, and go from there, cut up the rock piece by piece to bridge the scales all the way down to the nanometer scale. Imagine you're trying to find this ball on planet Earth. That's the same length scale as trying to find a nanoparticle on the surface of this ball. So we need really sophisticated electron and X-ray microscopes to make this visible. You can imagine we have to take a lot of images across these length scales. To bridge them, we can use AI, but also we collect terabytes of data that would take years to analyze, but AI allows us to train a machine to understand these images. And if it understands a few, it can actually analyze thousands of them. And this is really where artificial intelligence makes our lives more simple. Digitization comes in when we want to share this data. Share this data with colleagues all over the world, but also to teach to look at data together with students in a classroom, to visualize it in three dimensions. This is very important in knowledge sharing and transfer. Every rock tells you a different story about what has happened in the past, potentially what will happen in the future because we can learn from the past. And this is absolutely fascinating to understand the dynamics and the interplay of the solid earth, so where we're standing on, and us humans on top of it because we basically evolved together.